Hi, I'm Paul Akers and I'm going to show you the flush mount drill bit system. It's a very cool, well-engineered system to actually take a bass cap and put it flush with the surface in melamine or in natural wood. So let's take a look at the drill bit to start off with. First of all, the drill bit is made up of about five components. The first thing we have is we have the centering bit or the pilot bit and it has a little flat on there and it goes into the carbide cutter which is this one here. Now when we insert that into there we want to make sure that flat is aligned. Of course this all comes pre-assembled with the set screw that is right there. So you push that in and you get the pilot bit about the depth that you want. And you go ahead and take the Allen wrench, which comes with the drill bit system, and you tighten that up. And then we'll get one last little torque on there. There we go, that's set. Now you'll know that you hit the flat because this bit is flush. If it's sticking up a little proud, that means you're on the round and not on the flat. The next thing is we want to put it into our collar system right here. Now again, we have another large set screw right there with a flat on the carbide cutter. So we want to push that in and make sure that that's aligned as well. And we'll put that right there. And we'll take this and we'll tighten that up. Now, the last part is the micro adjust. And that's these fine threads right here. Now remember, there's a ball bearing system in here and that's what makes this system so nice to use. We're going to take the stop collar and we're going to thread it onto there. And it's nice and precise. Get that lined up there, just like this. And then we'll put that on, and we want to bring the collar so it sticks out just a little bit, it allows that carbide cutter to be just a little proud right there. You can kind of see that. Not very far, but the beautiful thing is it's so easy to adjust. It doesn't require an Allen wrench because we have this little plastic screw here that we use. Now people say, why are you using screws? Plastic? Because if we bear down on those fine machine threads in there with metal, we're going to bung them all up and it won't work very well, and then our micro adjusts won't work. So we put this in there and we just thread it in just a little bit. Now we've got it adjusted just about right and we'll torque it down. You don't want to over torque this. Of course, if you over torque it, we give you an extra one until you get used to doing it. Now we're ready to put it in the drill. So we've torqued it up. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to do our first drill. Now you notice there's nothing to worry about because this thing just is on a ball bearing. It just stops. And as you go down, I like to make sure that I blow out any dust so we're not underneath the collar and adjusting and ruining the adjustment. So we blow out as we're drilling. Now in the soft pine, I'm going to actually hold on to this collar on the outside because if it spins, it can make a mark. On harder materials, it's not a problem. So there you go. I've made my first hole. So now what we'll do is we'll do a test and we'll see whether or not we have the right depth. Now remember, the first thing you want to do with the flush mount drill bit system is just do a test. So now you can see I did it, it's just a little too deep. So now all we're going to do is come back over here and turn the knob and maybe take it about a quarter of a turn, just about like that, retighten that and come back over. Remember, drill that up as we're going down and grab hold of that. Press firmly, make sure you're seated and pull it out. Then we put our screw in there and of course then a cap right over the top. And we'll see if we got it. Ah, uh, we're still just a little bit not quite there. So we're going to come out just a little bit further than a quarter of a turn. Right there. And we'll try it one time. Hopefully the third time will be the charm. Okay, and we want to line the grain up too, and there you go, it's perfect, right along the top. Now you can take a piece of sandpaper too, and you can sand it, you can put a little glue in there if you want, and that glue will fill that crack, any little bit that you have in there, a little tooth and ten. So you have a beautiful job where you have a camouflage screw very easy with the flush mount drill bit system. People ask me, can I drill into white melamine with the flush mount drill bit system? Absolutely. And it'll do a perfect chip free job. So here we go. You notice I pause there because I want to make sure I've drilled it all the way through perfectly. Now, in contrast, this is a typical fast cap sitting on the surface. Now we're going to see what it looks like when it's flush. 
Remember, you'll put your screw in there and then we'll put the cap over the top. We put that in just like that and we're just gonna tap it in just a little bit all the way around. Make sure that's seated and it looks really good. A little bit more right there. Then the next trick is we take the soft wax and we take a little bit of soft wax in there and we put that in there and it just fills all those cracks perfectly. Come back over, wipe off the excess and look at the contrast between that. You can put it in on the surface or you can put it in flush. You can do real wood, whatever you want, the flush mount drill bit system from FastCap.